Welcome to a SIM code. Welcome to the channel. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. A linked list in C is a dynamic data structure where each element, called a node, contains two parts, the data itself and a pointer to the next node in the sequence. Unlike arrays, linked lists do not require contiguous memory locations, allowing for efficient insertions and deletions at any position. The list is accessed starting from the head, which points to the first node. Each node's pointer links it to the next node, and the last node points to null to signify the end of the list. The key advantage of linked lists over arrays is their flexibility in size, as they can grow or shrink without the need for reallocation or shifting elements. Operations like insertion and deletion can be performed in constant time when the position is known, but searching requires linear time as we need to traverse the list. Include the standard input-output library for print statements. Include the standard library for dynamic memory allocation, malloc. Define a node structure for the linked list. A linked list node contains two components. It stores the actual value, in our case, an integer. A pointer that points to the next node in the list. If it's the last node, it points to null. The data variable holds the actual data for this node. Type int. The next variable is a pointer to the next node in the list. Type struct node pointer. Function to insert a new node at the beginning of the linked list. The function takes the address of the head of the list and the new data to insert. Allocate memory for the new node the malloc function is used to dynamically allocate memory for one new node of size struct node. This memory is used to store the new node's data and the pointer to the next node. Check if memory allocation was successful. If malloc failed and return null, print an error message and exit the function. Assign the data to the new node here, we assign the new data to the data field of the newly created node. Link the new node to the current head of the list since the new node is inserted at the beginning. The next of the new node points to the current head. If the list is empty, asterisk head is null, so new node next will be null. Update the head of the list to the new node.
After inserting the new node at the beginning, we update the head of the list to point to the new node. Print confirmation message. Function to print all the elements of the linked list. This function traverses the linked list from the head to the end. Temporary pointer to traverse the list. It starts at the head. Traverse the linked list as long as temp is not null, there is a node to process. Print the data of the current node, we print the data field of the current node, followed by arrow pointer to indicate the connection to the next node. Move to the next node, move temp to point to the next node in the list. After printing all nodes, print null to indicate the end of the list. Main function to demonstrate the linked list operations. Create an empty linked list by setting the head to null. Insert some data at the beginning of the list, inserting 10 at the beginning of the list. Now, head points to a node with data 10, and the next of this node is null. Inserting 20 at the beginning. Now, head points to a new node with data 20, which points to the previous node, data 10. Inserting 30 at the beginning. Now, head points to a new node with data 30, which points to the previous node, data 20. Inserting 40 at the beginning. Now, head points to a new node with data 40, which points to the previous node, data 30. Print the current state of the list.
Now run our code. I really appreciate you watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.